All right, guys, now in our 2004 BMW E46, we are actually going to replace the cigarette lighter. What? Cigarette lighter with just a dedicated USB port. This is something that should be super easy to do instead of using one of these guys in there. We're going to replace that with a dedicated USB port, and that way there won't be any, any worries there. And on this, it gives us actually two sockets. So let's get started. First, we're going to have to remove this trim piece right here. Just simply pull up on that. Here, everything kind of unclip, and there's two Phillips screws, one here and one here. So let's undo those guys. here since my cup holder is full. Two Phillips screws out. Now this just simply just pulls up. And what we're going to do we're just going to kind of fish it around our console there. There's going to be a couple little clips in the bottom for our uh, window guys. I'm only going to release the driver's side and just kind of flop that guy over there. Next we're going to remove this little cubby here. So we're just going to reach in and just pull straight and it just comes right out of the way. We've got two more screws. We've got one here and one here. So we're just going to simply remove those. So we removed the two screws we have from the top here, one here and one here. We've got two more here at the bottom. we got one right here and one right here. So there's a total of really six screws to get this whole thing apart. I think they're all like the same length, so there's really no mixing them up. Okay. So we got all those screws out. Now we should be able to actually pull this console out. You can feel it, it's moving. Alright, we have to get the keys, put it in the accessory positions, we can pull this all the way back. Just so we have a little bit more room right here to work. Alright, let's see here. Biggest wires that are holding us up here. Is our cigarette socket, which is the one we want to replace. So, in order for us to do that, I believe, just twist out here. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna unplug it. Alright, we got it all unplugged here. Kind of 
I have an auxiliary port in here, so <laughs> makes it a little bit more difficult with all our repairs. There we go. Just unplugged uh, this guy right here, just so we have a little bit more room to work. Then this is our auxiliary socket that goes to the back of the radio that I've just plugged in here to the ashtray. So that's gonna give us just a little bit more room. So, in order to get this guy out, see it. So if you look inside the socket, on this side and this side, there's two itty bitty plastic tabs that are keeping it from turning so it won't come out. So what I'm going to do, persuade it here. There we go. Just a little twist. Push out the top. So I don't know if you can see it here, but there's just a little slot there. A little slot there. Don't want to come out. Nothing broke on the mount or anything. You just slid right out. Now, here's the thing. Let's see if this will fit without any modification. And it won't. So, what we are going to need to do now this hole will actually need to be enlarged a little bit. And in order to do that, it looks like we're just gonna need to let me just put the top here. Yep. So this whole piece is gonna come out and just enlarge this hole just a little bit. So in order for us to do that, I actually want to take the whole piece over to my workbench and I can enlarge that hole. All right, guys, we got the hole hogged out, and um, what we had to do, let me just pop it out here and show you, is there's an inside ring that the cigarette lighter sat in, so you just had to remove that. And how I did that is the tabs came down the side to hold the old lighter sock in place, and so I actually busted those off, and then with a pair of needle nose, and then I just used a little pair of uh, side cutter snippy things here. Just went all around and then I used a razor blade to kind of knock all the edges off and then some sandpaper to smooth it out. So that worked out really well. All right, now we just need to get it installed. So we have our retention ring here. It's kind of tight back here. So we're just going to slide this guy in with the retention ring behind it. Tight, so I'm just gonna actually just do it from the front. So I'm just gonna screw it down so it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm gonna get my pair of pliers so I can angle it the way I want it. So I want this flapper to fold down on the bottom right there and then the words to be straight, obviously.
go. Ah, screwdriver to make sure this guy's tight. is okay so we got all that installed there so we got our our USB socket I trimmed a little tab off the top here because it was interfering with the door when it would close so I want everything to function fully how it's supposed to so now let's just plug back in so on here it says the plus and the minus so the silver is the plus the brass side is the minus it's gonna just get everything tucked back in the way we had it Let's see. The ashtray light. And then we got our negative. Positive wire. Things on there firmly. This is good. All our wires are back in place. So now let's just slide everything back into position. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I'll bring it over in a second. The blue light's on, showing we do have power to that, which is awesome. So from here, just gotta reassemble it. <laughs> Get all our screws in place. Put two at the bottom. to the top. We got a little premature close on that. We got our little cubby. We're gonna put back in back into place. Of course, all my business cards fall out. There we go. Now, let's put our wooden bezel back into place. We're just going to push our guy through there. Remember, plug back in your electric windows. Now on this, there are some tabs right here in front. You want to make sure those are seated in place. We'll put our two screws back in. We 
gonna put back the park. Screw one. Screw number two. Your bezel. Straight down. Perfect. Now I just to reassemble ashtray here. supposed to be. All right guys, we've got it fully back assembled. So now, instead of having a nasty cigarette lighter that never gets used, we now have a USB port here. So here's what our completed setup looks like. So we have our auxiliary port right here. I already had that there. Then now we have a nice little USB port. So right here, which is nice, we have our one amp and we have our 2.1 amps on there. And, um, that is going to be so much nicer than having a cigarette lighter slot there. And just show you, it's still full functions how it's supposed to. Doesn't interfere with the function of the, of the device at all. So there you go. Alright guys, simple as that. The hardest part on this job was making this hole just a little bit bigger. I took my time just using some simple hand tools. Um, just just so I can get it precise the way I wanted it. You could also use like a Dremel tool once you have this unit out to hog that hole out, which would have sped up time a little bit, but <clears throat> you know, just using a pair of snips and a razor blade and uh, some sandpaper also works. So there you go. That's how you replace your cigarette lighter in a BMW E46 with a USB outlet. So guys, if you like what you saw here, give us a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.